New at 7, the story of a Camp Pendleton veteran not allowed on a plane with a service dog is exposing a much bigger problem for people with disabilities. 10 News anchor Itika Milano shows us how getting a fake service dog certification and ID has never been easier. Tapish, push. Good boy. Becky Miller has been training service dogs at Canine Companions for Independence for nine years. And then we're off. At CCI, it takes nearly two years and $50,000 to train just one dog to be someone's four legged lifeline. Tavish, get. So she says it's extremely disheartening to hear about the growing trend of fake service dog certifications. Thank you. As an experiment, I went online personally and paid $20 and had an ID card sent to me with a pound puppy's picture. It wasn't even my dog. Um, fake name, fake address, no legitimate credentials. Miller says this can make life difficult for people with real disabilities like Jason Haig. Tuesday night, the Camp Pendleton Marine veteran told 10 News how American Airlines didn't believe his service dog Axel was legitimate and peppered him with very personal questions. What was my disability and what was wrong with me? What tasks my dog to ride? Then the airline employee refused to let him on a flight. While the Americans with Disabilities Act allows businesses to ask what tasks a dog provides, the Department of Transportation, which includes the airlines, can take it one step further. They can ask for some kind of documentation, whether that be an ID card, a vest, um, a harness, a specific dog tag, documentation from a physician or mental health professional. A humiliated Hague and Axel took a different flight home the next day, and the airline apologized. The combat veteran would like to see a national certification and registration program for service dogs. Itika Milanis, 10 News. And ironically, Hague and Axel were back on their way home from an award ceremony where Axel had just been honored with Service Dog of the Year.